everyone, it's Katie from the Everheart Museum in Scranton, Pennsylvania, ready for lesson number five for K through two, Art Week for Museum Adventure Week. Here I've got all the supplies that you need and all the supplies that are optional for building your boat. I'm gonna slide my optional supplies of paint, Q-tips, and a paint tray out of the way and get ready to put my boat back together. I already had it assembled, practiced, and now I'm ready to go to show you how it's done again. You wanna first start off by sanding your boat. You might notice that there's some sharper pieces that need sanded down. Just use the sandpaper and rub on those corners uh, to get it taken care of. This might be a lesson that you want a parent or guardian to help you out with. Some of it's a little bit more detailed, some of it might be a little tougher. Um, so don't get upset or frustrated if it's not working. Just wait till you have a parent or guardian to help you out with putting the rest of it together. You also want to sand a corner of your fin. So the flat piece of wood here is your fin. It's going to go in the bottom of your boat. We want to sand just one corner of it. We don't want to sand the whole thing. And the suggested way of doing it is to hold your sandpaper on the table or on the edge of a are on the edge of the table and hold your fin and sand it down this way. You're trying to wedge it into a little bit more of a point. Oh, that's the end I haven't been doing. So sand it into more of a point uh, so that it'll stick into the bottom of your boat a little bit better. So I'm gonna sand it a little bit more just to hold the sandpaper in place and then sand your fin that way. Take a little bit more time, pause if you need to, to sand your boat down even more. So as I mentioned, I already put my boat together and took it back apart. So you'll notice that my sail is a little bit curled and my tape, I've peeled it off and then stuck it to one of my uh, upper yards. Uh, so what I'm gonna do to get my tape ready is in your directions, you have a long piece of tape that has a white backing. So you can tear or rip the tape into the length that it shows on your green sheet. So use your green sheet for this next, these next few steps. I'm gonna make sure that it's about the same size for all four of these parts of my mast and get my sail right there in the, in the diagram. So to put my mast together, my sail together, I'm going to use these four pieces of tape that are ready to go. There's the fourth one. In the skinnier dowels. You'll notice that these do not have a slit in the bottom. The one that's a little bit chubbier has two little tiny slits in the, in the ends of them. You want to save that for later. All right, so I'm going to take the two skinnier ones and be careful, they're fragile. I had to glue one of mine back together. And I'm going to use the piece of tape to wrap it over the upper yard and over the lower yard. So this is where maybe having an adult to help you would be good. I'm gonna stick the yard right on top and hold it in place. Take another piece of tape, stick it right in the right spot and push the yard down, which is the stick to hold it in place and then set my sail right on top of both pieces of tape. So if you need an adult's help, don't be shy. Ask somebody to help you out. And you're gonna repeat that process for the bottom. Oh, I need to fold my tape over to seal it on for good. And I'm gonna repeat the process for the bottom yard. Slide it under the sail. Put the lower yard or the lower stick in place. Use that to push the tape down and hold it there. Slide my other tape right underneath and push the yard or the stick down to hold it in place. So now I'm going to use my fingers to hold it in place and tape my sail. And I scooted it over a bit too far, so I'm gonna peel it up and try once more. I want it to be right on the edge of that tape. I'm 
my other piece of tape underneath the sail and wrap the tape over the lower yard and tape it to the sail that way. All right, so my sail is ready to go. I'm gonna keep following those directions on my, uh, my lesson plan booklet and you guys have one really long piece of yarn or string. And what I've done is I folded it in half once Let's pretend this is all put back together. I folded it in half once and I cut it into half. So this is half of the string. And then I took the other half of the string and I cut it into half. So I have one half and two quarters. So I have three pieces of string ready to go. Now here's where it's gonna become a little bit tougher. So get ready to tie your mast to the upper and lower yards. So to do that, I'm gonna lay it in place, put my mast or my sail right on top, and for this I'm gonna use the uh, shorter pieces of string. I'm going to thread it in between and around the mast, making sure it's staying on my diagram and center it up as best I can. And I'm gonna crisscross or double loop the string around the mast. Okay, so it's locked in there a little bit, but it's not secure yet, so I'm gonna crisscross it over one more time. Use delicate fingers. Don't snap your upper or lower yards like I did earlier. And back around. So once I get that yarn wrapped, or that string wrapped all the way around, then I will be ready to tie it in a simple knot. So I'm gonna make sure it's in the right place. Now that I've got it wrapped around and it's secure, I can carefully wrap it and tie it crisscross and through, pull it tight, and crisscross and through one more time. If I'm going too fast, pause the video, look at the lesson plan, see if that helps you figure it out a little bit better, and give it your best shot before you unpause because this string is tough. There we go. Now it's in a double knot. All right, so double check that I've got it in the right place before I tie my other small string to the lower yard. Repeat the same process over again. So I'm gonna kind of thread it through and get it started first. Oh, I can see I didn't tie that tight enough. I'm gonna go ahead and pause my video while I crisscross and tie this one. Give it your best effort to get that mast really attached on both ends with your smaller pieces of string. And then we'll restart on finishing our boats. All right, so after a little bit of extra time, I got my mast attached to my sail and the directions on the green sheet says to trim it to two inches and you wrap it around once. And this is what the slit is for at the top of your mast to keep your mast the right size. So I'm gonna wrap it around once and then floss it between that little slit and that'll help keep it the right size so this is going to stick out and then repeat the process down here but we're not going to wrap it around the mast at all we're just going to take it straight down and into the slit 
and floss it right in there. Okay, so being extra gentle, you don't want to snap any of the dowel rods. So this one's wrapped once and then threaded through, and this one's pulled straight down and threaded through. All right, now you need your longer piece of string, and this one's a little bit easier, but not super simple. We're gonna wrap twice and then tie it with a square or 